Well, hello there, Richard Tubb here, back in the Tubb Observatory, keeping my eyes open for the tools and resources that can help you to grow your IT business. So without further ado, here are my five a week from the managed service provider space. Cronus recently announced the launch of their Advanced Security Plus Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR, solution for MSPs. Now, historically, most EDR or XDR solutions are complex and expensive, but Cronus EDR is designed for service providers and enables MSPs to simplify endpoint security and rapidly detect and remediate advanced attacks. So if you're unfamiliar with EDR, then I'd highly recommend you checking out the Acronis CyberCloud solutions to learn more. Data portability ensures individuals can easily obtain, move, copy, transfer, and reuse their personal data across different services and IT environments. In this video, Billy Thompson, Solutions Engineering Manager for Akamai Cloud Computing, talks to James Steele of Linode about portability, what it means, why it's important for your business. If you work in the technology field, especially for an MSP, managing your task list and calendar while balancing a lot of conflicting priorities can be really stressful. So I'd recommend checking out this short video from MSP expert Todd Kane, where Todd summarizes the fundamentals of using your task list and calendar to get more done. And talking of productivity, I highly recommend you check out Carl Palachuk's Relax, Focus and Succeed video channel for a wealth of personal development and productivity tips. And finally, June 13th to 14th, 2023 is the date for the Ultima IT Growth Conference in Orlando, Florida. Hosted by MSP expert Jennifer Bleem of MSP Sales Revolution, the Ultima IT Growth Conference is designed to give you and your salesperson a clear sales plan with a newfound ability to close sales naturally. And if you use the promo code Richard Tub, then you'll get $100 off the ticket price. Cronus recently announced the launch of their EDR or Endpoint Detection and Response Solution. Now, EDR is reliant on real-time monitoring, endpoint data collection, and rule-based automated response and analysis to secure a system against potential security incidents. In my opinion, EDR is a real game changer for MSPs in the fight against cyber criminals, and I'd highly recommend you check out the Acronis Cyber Protection Solution. What are the do's and don'ts of M&A for MSPs? Well, mergers and acquisitions is a hot topic for IT businesses right now, so you won't want to miss this live session on the 13th of June, 2023, with Tom Andrulis, CEO of Intelligent Technical Solutions, and George Smith, of Augment. In the session, Tom will cover common barriers, red flags, and some of the fundamentals that MSPs should begin to consider as they prepare to exit their business. Congratulations to Manage Engine, who won the Service Desk Solution of the Year Award in the Technology Reseller Awards. Now, Manage Engine have an impressive suite of IT operations and service management software that MSPs really should be aware of. And talking of innovative technology, check out the 2023 Guide to Open Source Applications for MSPs from James Steele of Akamai Linode. Managed service providers have a unique opportunity to leverage open source tools for their businesses and their customers. The problem is, where do you start? Well, you can start by reading this article for Steele's top tips on the best in open source for 2023. And finally, Scott Riley of Cloud Nexus wins the award for the most innovative and amusing video on cybersecurity with this tongue-in-cheek look at Darth Vader from Star Wars. Riley is clearly a brave man to cross the Sith Lord. The Force is strong with this one. The much-anticipated evolving landscape of the MSP Business Report for 2023 was recently released. Now, this annual report was created based on a survey conducted by independent market researchers Vance and Bourne and commissioned by Barracuda MSP. And the report also shares some steps MSPs can take to overcome challenges in the remainder of the year. A podcast that caught my ear was the MSP Initiative, hosted by George Bardisi. Recent episodes of the podcast feature George Smith from Augment, noted cybersecurity expert Matt Lee of Pax8, Greg Hammond from Acronis. Definitely want to listen to. 
this is the number one reason lead generation doesn't work. So writes Kenda Olney Lee for Smarter MSP. And the reason is not what you think. The biggest challenge with lead generation, both sales prospecting and marketing campaigns, is that it takes time for you to see the results. This is an excellent article, well worth reading if you want some help with your MSP, sales and marketing. Now, how can a single conversation save an MSP over $100,000? Well, that's what MSP expert Todd Kane explains in his latest video. When the phrase, what if, stands in your way, remember this video to have the courage to push past that resistance. And finally, for MSPs in the UK, the latest of the highly rated Pax8 virtual launch briefings takes place on 27th of June with an agenda on solutions for common MSP pain points, PSA integrations that ease billing headaches. With the majority of MSP clients adopting Microsoft Teams, has your IT business considered how to protect Teams chats? Well, in this video, two MSPs, Matt Dillon of Reciprocal Technologies and Vinod Paul of Align, speak to Skykick to offer their perspective on how they've seen massive gains in their continuity business by thinking about Microsoft Team Chats and more. With co-managed IT becoming a big growth area for MSPs, this ebook from SuperOps AI will be of interest. The co-managed IT starter guide for MSPs shows MSPs where the need for co-managed IT comes from, why MSPs should opt for a co-managed IT model, and seven tips for getting started with co-managed IT services. Now, an article that caught my eye is Six Steps to Build a Customer Success Roadmap by Juan Fernandez of CompTIA. Pre-meeting planning is key, writes Fernandez, who is the CEO of Hackware. Now, if you've ever experienced the challenges of cash flow problems due to late client payments, then this tool may be of interest to you. Chaser is an end-to-end -end accounts receivable tool which integrates with Xero and other popular accounting packages. And it automatically chases up outstanding invoices and helps MSPs to reduce their billing time. And finally, for UK MSPs, the MSP Growth Hub Sales and Marketing Discovery Day takes place on June the 27th in Luton. Hosted by MSP experts Ian Luckett and Stuart Warwick, this free event offers to help MSPs understand how to build a sales and marketing engine that really works, rather than having to rely on word of mouth referrals. Inconsistent and often incomplete identity and access protection is the number one Microsoft 365 security vulnerability and enabling multi-factor authentication is probably the top step MSPs can take to help their clients stay safe. So a workshop that caught my eye was the session on automation to easily implement multi-factor authentication or MFA and access protection in M365 by Skykick. A podcast that caught my ear was Mark Coburn of Wingman Marketing speaking to SuperOps AI on their SuperPod about life and business lessons on resilience. Now, Coatman, the author of the book MSP Secrets Revealed and Help Desk Habits, has worked closely with MSPs for many years. And in this episode, he talks candidly about facing a serious health crisis at the age of 27 and what MSPs can learn from this experience. And talking of life advice for MSP owners, MSP expert Carl Palachuk shares some powerful advice on blank blocks of time in his latest short video. If you don't block time out to work on your own priorities, don't expect to ever get to them. How can you build a thriving culture in your MSP business? Well, that's the topic that Bradley Mundy and Jason Kemsley of Uptime Solutions tackle in this latest episode of their Progressive Mindset podcast. A culture decides how long people want to stay with you, how attractive you are to prospective talent, and more importantly, how much people can grow and perform when with you, shares Brad and Jason. And finally, if you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, then you may be familiar with the phrase, let the monk catch the arrow. If not, then this article from Chris Brogan shares what MSP owners can learn about giving your team the opportunity to shine and do the thing they're best at. I'm Richard Tubb, and this has been your five a week from the MSP industry. If you've enjoyed this video, then I'd highly encourage you to check out my MSP Insights email. It goes out every Tuesday, and you can find out all the details 
details at tub.co forward slash ml.